Let's go ahead and take a look at how to create drawings and templates themselves. First, let's look at a few options for templates. We can open up here the options and under system options, we have default templates. By default, this is what SolidWorks is using as your template when you create a part, an assembly or a drawing. If you want to add additional or how about this is change them. If you want to change the template we're using, you can go ahead and select these icons here and you can choose it. If you want to change the location that SOLIDWORKS is looking for for these templates, you can do that here. We can go ahead and add a new location as well as delete them. I'll go ahead and close this for now. We can go ahead and create a new drawing. If you have the advanced setting, you can have more additional options here. We'll go ahead and we'll put it back to novice. We'll create the normal standard drawing for now. Hit OK. And that will bring us to this sheet format and size. You can go ahead and look at my supplementary material and I'll go ahead and explain many of these sheet sizes and where they come from if you're not familiar with the ANSI or the ISO sheet sizes. I'll go ahead and just choose B ANSI for now. We'll keep this 17 inch by 11. I'll go ahead and hit OK. And that brings us to this here. By default, it's already trying to get us to drop a model view in. Since I have no parts open, I have nothing listed here. If I wanted to I could go ahead and browse to a part, We'll be using the project files I've been working with with the hinge. We'll go ahead and close this for now. I'll close this model view too as well. Down here in the bottom right hand corner, it's already a default title block created for us with some basic information that should be included in each of your drawings. I'll go ahead and pan over to the side. You can see we can change this as well as needed. I'll cover this in the next lesson. Back out just a bit, put it back into view. And the layout looks almost similar to the way assemblies have been as well as parts. Under view layout here is a new ribbon that we haven't had before. We can adjust what we're actually looking at, which we'll cover in just a second. We can apply various annotations for center marks, notes, and dimensions for our design. We can also, if we needed to, go ahead and create some sketches in here. I'll go ahead and delete that for now as well as more tools for evaluating and office products. For now, let's go back to the view layout tab. I will go ahead and activate the model view one more time and we will browse to this pin for now as an example. Okay, we'll go ahead and open it up. We can come down. By default, it's already picked an orientation for us. As you can see, this one's the front. I can go ahead and lay that down. How about I just place it once? As you can see, as I move my cursor around, it gives me a projected view of the model that we're working on. If I come down just a bit, we can see we have various scalings and we have a display style. I'll go ahead and change that to this shaded with edges. So it gives a more nicer look. I'll just place out each of these edges here, down here and up here, all the way around. More than what we need for this design. I'll go ahead and accept this. And just so you know, we can pick this up here, move it around, and everything that is along the horizontal and vertical will move with it. These ones over here though, we can move them around as needed. Place it over here, over here, and we can also delete them if we need to as well. Since we placed a few too many that I think, I'll go ahead and delete just a couple. Now let's go ahead and close this design and open up one more, but we'll just leave it open for now. We can go ahead and go to file. We can go to open and let's open a part directly. We'll open up the hinge, hit okay. And now we're back into the part. Now, if you're ever working on a part and you want to go straight to the drawing, you don't have to create a whole new drawing and then import your part back in. You could always go to file and you can make drawing from part. If we go ahead and select that, we are brought back to this dialog that we've seen before. We'll go ahead and keep this B ANSI. I'll hit OK. And now on the right hand side, it's automatically trying to create a projected view for, for us. I'll go ahead and select this, maybe the right view this time, and drag it out and place it into view. And again, just like before, we were able to create some more projected views. This time I'll maybe put one, two. We can come down. We still have various options here. We'll use the sheet scale. For some of these and as we place them not really making a difference right now for this design which is okay but we have other options here to choose from if you needed to for now we'll go ahead and keep this also note that if you want to place 
various configurations we can put those as well too this one's a three cut one one two three so we'll go ahead and accept that let's look at some more of our view layout options as you can see we have a projected view a model view auxiliary view a section view a detailed a breakout sketch section a break and a crop view let's just take a look at a few of these let's try the section view if i go ahead and select that you see i get this section that I can create along all these parts. For now I'll go ahead and keep this here. We can change it to horizontal as well as various other points but I'll keep it what it's at right now by default. We can slice it right through that hole and the top here and we can pull out and we can see we got a section view of that part there. Now if we wanted more detail of this we could also do more of a detail view. We can go ahead and create a detail of that portion there and see it pulls it out just a bit. We have additional options over here on the left hand side of how to create our view. I'll go ahead and accept this, zoom out just a bit. So, so far we have a few designs on our sheet. Remember we can go ahead and move these as we need to just to adjust them a bit. Drag it over here in this corner or even drag it in the opposite corner. Now we can also make designs from assemblies as well. Let's go ahead and just open up the assembly that we have. Here's the assembly. We can open it up just like what we've been looking at before. We can go ahead and move it around a bit and then we can go to file and we can create a drawing from this assembly. Again, we can just keep it as ANSI B for now. We can hit OK and we can drag out the current view that we have as well as place various other orientations from our options over here. Now if you place something like a current view in, we can always go to that assembly, make changes to the way it looks, make sure to hit rebuild if we are adjusting any of the actual dimensions. We can always go back to the new sheet and we can always update it like so.